Hey, Brian from Garage Ball. Today I am going to be going over like suspenders and uh, I guess suspender buttons, logger jeans, the whole nine yards. Uh, I'm, I'm a working guy. I mean, we have garage in the hall, do a lot of car maintenance and stuff in there. But uh, so I'm always wearing suspenders in the shop. And on top of that, I have a milk business where I'm constantly uh, grabbing like milk, uh, glass bottle milk containers, putting them into people's coolers and stuff in front of their house. So I'm constantly bending over, getting in and out of the van, and uh, a belt just doesn't cut it anymore. You know, it just, you need a little bit something more. So I've always been wearing these clip-on type style um, suspenders that they clip onto your jeans and everything. But the one thing, one downfall is it's a thin metal piece that's on the clasp and they just, after a while, they just start pulling up and then coming loose. Um, but these were actually a very good recommended pair um, that if you're going to get them and you want something quick and easy to clip on and you're not using them every single day, like if you're casually using them on weekends and stuff, these will probably last you a long time. Me, on the other hand, every single day, day in and day out, they just weren't lasting. Another pair of suspenders. This is the one that I wear around the shop, and I absolutely love these. These are my Husqvarna, and you can tell they're kind of dirty and greasy. But these have more of kind of like a, a bare clasp on it. The metal is definitely thicker and definitely more rugged. Uh, but these are the ones that I wear around my shop. It's got the wider band on it. But ultimately, I was looking for something that was like this. You know, it's got a thinner strap and I, I tend to like to wear them underneath my shirts uh, just because I like to have my shirts untucked and stuff kind of helps with the uh, you know hide in the belly but then I came across these suspenders and I've seen them for years and I think we all have if you've ever looked at suspenders and these are the ones that had like the button the button down kind of suspender links on them the only problem is like, you have to buy these jeans that are called logger jeans, and uh, I'll put a couple links to them, but they're like 60 to $70 a pair. Yeah, that, that's getting kind of crazy. So, I use Wrangler jeans just because I wear them so much, I end up like basically uh, wearing them out, you know, more like in a crotch area. I'm sure we all know that, like legs rubbing together. But anyway, on a logger jean, if you look at it, and I made this pair, but all locker jeans are pretty much the same. This is your main button that goes to your fly. But then it's got two buttons on either side of the first main belt loop. So, and then that's the other side of the jean. So that's your button hole. And then on the back, you have two buttons on either side. So what I try to do is make sure that I can replicate that by there's a little button pack. I'll put this, the links for it online, but basically it's got like a dozen jean buttons and a rivet that goes in the back of them. Now, you can also use this for more like decorations. I've seen guys where they've dressed up or young guys dress up their jeans and stuff. But, so what you get is you get a whole kit and the buttons come basically wrapped up in a little tissue paper. So when you open it, so you got that nice little, little button that's brand new. And then it comes with this little rivet that basically goes into the back of the button. And you basically set it with a hammer. So, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a match marker. It's one thing I didn't grab. Hopefully, I edited that out and I'm back in a flash. But what I do is on the back, so to replicate this, I'm basically going to take my other jean, I'm going to lay it down. But initially, what I did is I put probably, it's about an inch and a half off center, roughly, from your belt loop. 
So basically, you got the inch and a half. So I'm going to put a mark on the other side with a magic marker. And once you get the first pair done, you can kind of like stencil and carry it over onto your other pair. So I'm going to do an inch and a half over here. Inch and a half over on this side. Now I marked the dots. It's kind of hard. I think you can probably see that one and then probably see that one better on that side. But an inch and a half off center from there. And then what you're doing is you are taking a, that's a three inch nail. And then you are going to put it in the center of that hole. And then I use a piece of wood to hammer into. And then you want to use, I, I guess, uh, you know, a smaller hammer. You don't want to use something that's like super heavy. And you just, and you just tap it so it pokes through the other side of your jean. So that's going to be your new rivet hole. And then on the other side, same thing. And like I said, it doesn't take much to go through. It's a quick little little hammer and then you're taking your new button kind of small detail to show on the camera but you're putting your rivet back through this little hole in the back side so if you look at it so that's your you're poking it through that one side and then you have your button that you're going to be placing right there on top of it. Now, line it up on the wood. You kind of push down on it a little bit to get it set straight. And then I basically just take a hammer, just kind of push it through so it's sitting straight. And then I give it two good, good hits with the hammer. And you know when you have a good is when it doesn't twist. It's not going to spin. If it's spinning, you got to give it another really good tap to make sure that it's locked in there. But this one is, it's like almost right there. I'm going to give it one more quick tap. Two quick taps. But, so that one is set. So we're going to do the one on the other side of the middle in the back. The hardest part is unwrapping these little tissue paper buttons basically the same thing you're gonna take that little rivet go through the back where you made that little hole so put that little rivet through the hole in the back and then you're gonna be placing your button in on top of it like that down onto your piece of wood taps to just line it up two good hit with the hammer and then that's the second one that's done all right so those are your two buttons on the back see how I kind of like place it right in the middle of the jean and then on the front look for my template pair and again it's about an inch and a half over on on either side the center it does have to be exact but you know if, if you if you are into making sure you have everything set up right so see how it's an inch and a half off and then that is basically an inch and a half off the center okay so that's our template pair so again I take the tape measure and then we'll be measuring down the middle, an inch and a half over with the magic marker. Just make that center mark there. Inch and a half over on the other side. Make that little mark right there. And then on the other side of your jean, basically doing the same thing. Inch and a half off center. And about an inch and a half off center on this side. Okay, 
So I've got all my holes marked off. And then we just start tapping away on this. Line that up in the center. So those holes are done on that side. And you can do this with basically any brand gene that's out there. And again, I prefer the Wrangler jeans. I just think that they're, I get them at Walmart for like 20, 25 bucks. Get them on Amazon, same thing. Sometimes they got like a two for one deal or something that you can get. But again, repetitive, but I'll show you the whole process in one pair of jeans so you can see how, how easy it goes. So pop that rivet through the little hole that you did. <clears throat> Flip it over. Line it up. Sometimes, depending on how you get this set, it's not exactly as straightforward as you like it, but. Okay, so that one's done. All right, so let's do the one on the other side. Like I said, once you get your rhythm down, the hardest part is going to be getting these things unwrapped. I don't know if it's because it's a little cold out here in Garage Mahal or what we got going on. But so again, push that right through. Put your little button down. And if you got your choice of woods, use pine as your hitting block. Just because that's going to be a uh, softer wood and it's not going to mess up your finish on your button. I don't know how important that is. I mean, to me, it's kind of like whatever. No one's going to really see. My wife likes me to look as best as I can, so I try to keep things looking a little bit better. Oh, and that's our snow tire snowman. <laughs> couple extra tires laying around. I couldn't fit them in on a garage Mahal side, so I put them over here. To my wife's dismay, she uh, she made it into a snowman. So I think she used a uh, basketball for the head or something, but that's a whole nother video. Okay, now looking for the little rivet hole. Right, there we go. And make sure that you definitely use a nail to make this hole. Some guys or girls get impatient and they try to like rush through that part and they try to hammer it through the jean without making the nail hole. Uh, I tried that, it's, it's not gonna work. And the main reason why it's not gonna work is because you're gonna get some of that jean material that's gonna go through the the actual gene itself. And then uh, this hole is a little tough to see. And then you're gonna get that gene material stuck in that button and it's just, it's not gonna rivet down properly. So definitely make your pilot hole. And there you go. So you got your button jeans on the front. Then you got two buttons on the back. And like I said, these suspenders are pretty cool because uh, also, good tip is to definitely probably button these before you put them on. Um, but it goes pretty quick and easy. And then boom. So that's your, uh, your basically your lager jeans made for definitely half the price of the uh, the real ones. And again, other benefit to real lager jeans is they usually have an outside pocket on a leg, which these don't, that they usually put some sort of knee pad in and also gives you a double layer of protection. But for the everyday guy, that uh, you're not gonna need that. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna make another pair of jeans here. No need for you to stick around and watch. I think that process was pretty easy. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, I try to answer every single, 
I should say try, I answer every single question that comes along and comment. Um, other than that, uh, Brian from Garageville Hall, uh, it's 2021, January 1st today. Thank goodness we, we all made it through 2020. Um, be safe out there. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Have a great day.